time limit. Still plenty of time for the shooters to complete this. Just about four minutes left of this second series. Turkey looked like they've started this second series pretty well. Set up Karagol. Anisago Pelivinar. Yang Chao from China. Very, very successful in the individual events. Dominated this event over the years. 10 meters air pistol. And he's been pressed in recent times by this man, Alexei Denisuk. And the blue shirt of Ukraine. Ukraine, looking like they're in a very good position at the moment. Look like they're stretching the lead a bit halfway through this series of five shots each. So halfway through the ten shots. Dennis Oak composing himself. Still two and a half minutes left, so... No real time pressure at the moment for any of the teams. When you're in competition, you can lose track of the time. Last thing you want to be doing is to be panicked into a quick shot, but we have seen shooters this week not make the time limit for certain shots, so. Certainly that's not something you want to do either. Still two minutes left. China, Turkey and Iran have completed their shots. Korea. Just have one shot left. Iki Moon. And Ukraine will have the last two to go. Denisuk takes aim, 10.5. Remember, 10.9, the maximum. That is a sensational shot there from Denisuk. Liaku, final shot of this round. And 9.8, just outside the 10 for Irina Liaku. Oh, Ukraine stretching the advantage there. 5.5 ahead of Korea. China now moving through into third position. But that is a big advantage for the Ukrainians in this early stage. Turkey in fourth spot and Iran in fifth place. And it does look like Iran have been given a penalty there. So two-point penalty for Iran. And that will not have helped their cause to try and avoid the bottom position. Penalties can be awarded. Well, number of infringements you can have a penalty for. And included in this particular event, having a penalty for firing in the wrong order. So, as I said, shooter on the left must go before the shooter on the right. Teams can put their shooters in any order. It's a mixed event, so it is male and female. You can have the females first or the males first. It's up to the teams to decide which order they wish to put their pair in. Last series of 10 shots, five shots each before we get into the elimination and Ukraine looking very good at this stage. China have made a good start to this last series. Ukraine, if they can stay in and around the tens, tens or the high nines, you know they've got a good advantage to take into the elimination. Good 
grouping of shots there for the team from China. Ukraine certainly firing the slower of all the teams. Doesn't matter as long as they complete that within the time, they'll be okay. They seem to have a good handle on where they are in terms of that time limit. Iran. Uh, I have to try and get themselves into touch with the next team, who is Korea at the moment. We're sitting pretty well, but Turkey have had a good series here. 10.8 in that last shot there for Sivit Karagol. Coming to the end of this third series of five shots each. Shooters just composing themselves. I've seen some top-class competition. Dennis, two bronze medals already this week. His partner, Yaku, silver medal. Dennis brings the pistol down. Tremendous control for Denisuk, 10.2. That is not bad at all. Liaku. That rigid straight arm, 10.7 for Liaku. Well, that is an excellent shot there for the Ukrainian woman. 30 years of age, just pipped for the gold medal yesterday in the women's P2 pistol. Everyone has completed the next set of 10. Dennis, well, unhappy about that one. 9.1. The final shot will be Miyaku. Still one minute to go, so well within the time limit. Oh, 8.7 for Miyaku, so the gap has closed China. Had a good series there, the best of the five teams. China have gone into second position. Turkey have moved up. Disappointing from Korea. They've lost ground and they've gone into fourth position. But it's still Iran. Well, two shots each now. The team from Iran will have to see if they can leapfrog someone to escape elimination after two shots each here. Mahdi Saman Shurabi and Zivar Fede from Iran. They qualified in fourth position. They're going to go out in fifth. Dennis Hook with a good start. 10.3 on his first shot. First two shots have been completed, and it's not good news for Iran. Looks like they are in trouble. Two shots to go. They have a difference of around about five points to make up. Still the difference between the top two teams. Around about two points, Ukraine still have that lead. Iran looking for something special now. 9.4, well, they've closed the gap on Korea. They have one more shot left for the team from Iran. Let's see if they can manage to bridge that gap. It's not going to be enough. Shots are completed there, and we are going to lose the first team. It is the Islamic Republic of Iran who will leave us in fifth position. Mahdi Saman Surabi and Zival Fidel will leave the competition. Fifth place, they qualified in fourth. They won the gold medal yesterday, Sarah Javan Mahdi. 
In the P2 event, fifth place this time for Iran. And now, next elimination after the next four shots. We'll be down to the last three, and that'll be the medal winners. Ukraine and China still ahead. And with this mixed team, 10 meters air pistol. Korea and Turkey very close in terms of points. Korea stretching away from the, the Turkish team there, but a good shot from Sevat Karagol. 10.4, well, Turkey, that's 7.1 for the Korean team. Well, Koreans have now gone below Turkey there, well below them. Turkey rammed home this advantage. They are in a great position to try and claim the bronze medal position, and they've closed up on China. Oh, well, we saw Turkey win their first gold medal of the championships yesterday in the rifle. And with Atakal, maybe another medal for the Turkish team. Denisuk fires 10.7. Wow, that is a great shot. Pressure very much on now, coming towards the end of this event. 10.8 for China, and China again close the gap. 2.2 between China and Ukraine, but it is Korea. There were a little bit of drift at the end. Korea depart in fourth position. Park Chul and Moon Akion leave in fourth place, just outside the medals. Now, down to the final three. Another four shots. Turkey, China and Ukraine as we look at them. And that is the order. Denisuk, what can he start with? 9.1 for Denisuk. And Pelivinar, 10.4 for her. The second shooters, 10.1. Ten point five for Turkey and ten point one for Ukraine. It's very close. The medal positions. Turkey have got it all to do. Just one point six now between Ukraine and China at the top. Two more shots for Turkey to try and save themselves. They were the best score of that set of two. They have another two shots. What can Turkey do? We have seen some surprises, especially in the pistol events this week. Ukraine, Denisuk stretching that lead now. This could be the last shot for Turkey. And it is 9.4 for Kalagol. And Turkey are 2.9 behind China, and they will depart in the bronze medal position. Well, it was a good effort from Turkey, but they just had a little bit too much to make up. Clear in the Bronze medal position ahead of Korea and Iran. Be another medal for Turkey at these championships. I think we've had a Turkish medal every day so far in the team events and in the individual events yesterday. It's down now to the last two teams. Each of the shooters will have three shots each now. Take us to our final position. Good start from Denisuk. He has been solid as a rock. He's in the nines, but compared to the 8.54 Lee Min, it's given Ukraine a little bit of an advantage. And again, Ryaku is better than Yang Chao on that second shot. So Ukraine will stretch the lead to three points. 
Well, we saw in the rifle mixed team event, it all came down to the last shot. It was Ukraine versus China. Ukraine led going into the last shots, but it was China who came out victorious. It is three points. It is a big margin. But it could all change in an instant. Denisuk taking his time. 9.7 again. Better than Lee Min. Uh, 1.6. Liaku has been consistent. And 10.5 Oh, Liaku. Well, a nod of the head and no wonder. That was superb under pressure. Oh, Ukraine really pushing home the advantage there. Look at that difference now. Five points with just four shots remaining. Ah. Denisuk has been the model of consistency here in this final. Oyaki, well, He's really picked up in the later stages. Vital shots. Liaku. Oh, 0.7 this time for Liaku. Will be enough again for an advantage. Ukrainians now ahead of the Chinese team. Uh, there we have it, and it is a world record performance for Ukraine. Well, excellent shooting there from the Ukrainians, 466.4. They establish a new world record. And the advantage that they had that was carried on right to the end. Some great shooting for Denisuk and Liaku. And they will take the gold medal ahead of China and ahead of Turkey. The advantage was driven home towards the end by the two consistent Ukrainians, Denisuk and Diaku, with Lee and Yang in the silver medal position, and Bilindar and Karagol, the bronze medal position for Turkey. So gold to Ukraine, silver to China, and bronze to Turkey.